How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I have a pretty awesome product that I am extremely impressed with, and that would be the Wool Cloud Full Zip by Duckworth. Now, I put this jacket, honestly, through a lot of crazy stuff, as in active duty military, running it with my plate carrier in adverse conditions, running it recreationally, and I'm comparing it against other options, current active duty issue, that is more expensive than this jacket and then other offerings down the line of different materials too. And how I, in my opinion, think this jacket literally outperforms all of these in many different classes. So let's dive into all the details of this jacket and why you would want this and why it would be worth your hard earned cash. So first off, I do not make any money off of how many you guys buy or I sell or whatever. I make zero money. I am just talking about a product that I think is very cool and is beneficial. So I get no benefits. I just am up here talking for the fun of it, I guess you could say, because I enjoy it. So first off, this thing is USA made. All the products, it's designed in-house materials in the United States. And of course, for anybody living in whatever country you are, you want to support products that are in your country. At least I do, and I enjoy it, and I go out of my way to try to find that. So if you're one of those type of people living in the United States, hey, there's one reason this might be a beneficial jacket to you. Number two is going to be the material. So other offerings out on the market here, use synthetic material often synthetic material does have its benefits but it also has its downsides major downside is the compressibility when you compress synthetics it takes away from its loft it has a memory when you stuff it into a bag for a long period of time it tends to degrade or get really crunched up that's why you're supposed to lay out your sleeping bags during the summertime when you're not using them so they don't get compressed and lower your temperature rating they don't perform very well in wet environments. If, if synthetics get completely soaking wet, they don't perform as great. They still perform pretty good, but not as great as what is in this. And specifically, the material that is literally in this jacket, which doesn't even look any different than other things on the market, it's merino wool inside, which is crazy. And yes, old school wool. And most people say, oh, well, that's old. Yes, it is, because it works. Now, the main downside to wool often was weight, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So wool in general, when it gets soaking wet, it still retains a lot of its heat value. Completely soaked, you will still be reasonably warm. Next, it's fire retardant. Now, of course, the exterior shell of this is not fire retardant, DWR coating polyester or uh, fabric that wicks rain, but the interior is. Also, wool's renewable. It's 100% a naturally occurring fiber that is not going to degrade you know, our environment because it comes from the environment and it'll go back into the environment. Synthetics, they don't do that. So if you are in that natural fiber kind of material and you, or you like that mindset, this is another reason to look into this jacket, which is really cool. So, Next, we're going to talk about weight. So most of the time, wool, everyone says, oh, wool is extremely heavy. We'll talk about that. So this jacket right here, this is the newest generation Massive Level 7. This was issued to me, active duty, three months ago. This is a good jacket. It is a puffy jacket, and currently what I'm running. This jacket weighs one pound 13 ounces. Now it has the same kind of coating on it, wicks away water, it's not going to absorb. But like I said, one pound 13 ounces. The Duckworth weighs 15 ounces. Crazy, in my opinion. So it's almost half the weight, but it's performing equally. I have taken both of these jackets down to negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit. That's fairly normal in the Rocky Mountains where I'm at is every winter we normally see negative 55. So I got to experience that temperature with both of these jackets. In my opinion, they perform equally, but this one isn't as puffy and big and bulky like a marshmallow, which I'll discuss kind of here in a second. Good jacket. Now let's move on to another offering. This is an older generation. This is the generation prior 
to the newer one. Now this one is literally, it says right here, Parka Extreme Cold Weather Military, as in Generation 3 Level 7 or Layer 7. This jacket right here weighs two pounds, three ounces, and it is a puffy monster, as in you look like a marshmallow when you run around with this thing, which is, it's warm, but honestly, this jacket isn't as warm as this one, in my opinion, and what I've experienced, because I've wore this jacket a lot in a lot of crazy conditions, and I've wore this one recently in a lot of crazy conditions, still not performing as well. Now, the tried and true, or everybody loves kind of that footprint of the M65 field jacket in a way, I guess you could say. And I've had this thing for 20 years and I love it. I still wear this thing time to time. You'll see me in videos wearing it because it's so enjoyable. But if we look at the weight, it's coming in at three pounds, seven ounces. So it's heavy. The heavier you get, the better warmth rating it should do, right? Well, with this jacket at the time, it was amazing, but currently, with current technology, this jacket, 15 ounces, outperforms this jacket at three pounds, seven ounces. But that just comes down to cost, which we'll get into here in a second. Another offering that is wool, this is another wool product, this is a Lester River Bushcraft wool anorak. And now this thing was heavily used on the seasons of Alone, and I have used this thing a lot, just because it's extremely warm and it does very well. And it probably equally performing except for in rain. If it rains, this thing has no exterior coating. So you gotta tie a, a jacket along with this or a rain jacket of some kind and a wind barrier. This, if you just wear this, the wind will suck it right out of you. If it's not windy, you're good to go with this jacket. Again, two pounds, 11 ounces, kinda heavy. Going back to 15 ounces, keeps creeping up there on you going, wow, this thing's really lightweight for the performance. Now here's a really lightweight fleece option by North Face. I would not consider this a below freezing jacket whatsoever. And it's really good around the campfire, stuff like that. But even this jacket that doesn't perform that great, coming at one pound, six ounces. Still, this jacket is outperforming it in weight and in warmth. Now let's get to the pricing. This jacket is not cheap, but it is not the most expensive item on here. So, the Massive Jacket Level 7, brand new issue, $410. That's kind of steep. This jacket right here, the Duckworth, is coming in at about $330. And a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna click off right now. So a lot of times they'll do 20% off Duckworth. Your first order on Duckworth, a lot of times they'll do 20% off during certain times of the year. So definitely go ahead and snag that 20% off and that'll significantly reduce your price, which is beneficial, especially with all the benefits you're getting. Now, this other jacket here, right, the older one, you can find about $200, but like I said, you're a puffy marshmallow. Does it work? Yes, it does, but you're gonna need a rain layer on top of it too. Going down M65 field jacket, you're looking about, what, 80 bucks probably used. You can find them cheaper than that, but if you want a brand new recreation model, you're probably looking about 80 to $100. Lester River Bushcraft. The wool anorak, which is an amazing anorak, coming in at $340. So more expensive than this. And it doesn't have a wind layer and it doesn't have a, a vapor barrier on it or an exterior rain barrier. So you're paying more and kind of getting less. And then the North Face, of course, most North Faces are probably around the $120 mark. When I purchased this, it was a little less, but inflation, all that great stuff like that. So. I get it, it's, it's expensive, but this jacket honestly is outperforming stuff. If you're an AT hiker or you know um, military or anything like that, you always try to be more capable with less weight. Especially me running this plate carrier, I run it underneath my plate carrier. It's very thin and very nice. It works extremely well. And that's why I like it. This thing can literally compress up into a Nalgene bottle. Like, it is extremely com it compressible. The size of a Nalgene bottle is what this thing will get down into. So if you're a hiker or a backpacker or something like this, pretty solid option. Extremely lightweight. Now, one issue I did have with it was the left cuff did start to come undone. So it kind of unfrayed, and I had to sew it back with a sewing machine. Real easy 
I contacted the company and said, hey, do you have issues with this? They said, no. Well, I didn't really trust their opinion just because I don't really know them that well. So I researched it on my own and no one else has had that problem. So I guess I just got a lemon left cuff and it had issues, but it was a really easy fix. You just sew it back up, had no issues since. Now this type of jacket is going to fray just like these other ones on the cuffs. If you really abuse them, they're going to get a little stringy. So just be aware of that. You can just cut the little strings off and then you're good to go. Over time, if you're really abusive with it, it's gonna degrade, just like any of these other options. If you take care of it, it'll take care of you. So I think this jacket is honestly outperforming all these other jackets. You can get them in different colors. This is multi cam you can get them green, black, coyote brown, or tan or something like that as well. So if you don't like the multi-cam color, cool, get another one. But I definitely recommend it. It's very cool. I like it. I'm gonna continue using it. Extremely lightweight, natural, and the performance is there. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, wanna see more, definitely like, subscribe, greatly appreciate it. I get no money off of how many you purchase this, so buy 10,000 of them for all I care. I won't see a single penny. The company will be greatly beneficial or be happy about that, but I don't see anything. So we have Patreon, PayPal, if you would like to donate. We also have a Amazon storefront now that has all the things that I recommend and that I specifically like. If it's not on there, it means I haven't used it or don't like it. And if it is on there, that means I do like it and I have actually physically used it and I recommend it. So other than that, I think it's an awesome jacket. You should look into it, budget for it. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Y'all have a great day.